welcome back. This is Paramedic Project, and thank you for joining us once again today. Final episode on ECGs. I'll share with you my stepwise analysis and interpretation technique for a 12 lead ECG. Four big steps that I use. The first step is quality. Look at the printout for starters. Does it have a nice flat isoelectric baseline? Is there a lack of artifact on the actual printout? Thirdly, is it printed out at a diagnostic frequency? Now, each of your employers, uh, depending on the equipment they use, will have a different frequency they want this ECG to be at, and that really allows us to diagnose STEMIs in the pre-hospital environment. So is it at a diagnostic frequency? Fourth thing in quality is I go to the patient and I look at the physical location of the electrodes on the patient. Now that's the arm and leg electrodes, but also the chest electrodes here, and make sure that they're correctly anatomically placed and that ticks the quality box. It's going to be a good quality ECG so we can move on with our analysis and interpretation. Second step is I look at a single rhythm strip and I analyse that. Now all of you should know that. Work through your waves, your complexes, your intervals uh, and make sure that all parts of depolarization and repolarization in a single rhythm strip are the right morphology and they're of the right timing at the end of that, you'll have a rate, rhythm, and regularity. You'll also have an origin of the actual complex. Is this originating in the SA node or further down near the AV node or even further down from the ventricle somewhere? So that is going to really tell you a lot about the actual rhythm strip itself. Third step then is the hunt for ischemia. Now, this is what most people jump straight to when they've got a 12 lead ECG. Hunt for ischemia, work through your lead groups, inferior lateral, septal, anterior, group those leads together, group those views together, look for signs of ischemia, you all know them. Fourth step then is a bit of an extension that I do and I go back and I look at ventricular depolarization. I look to see that is there a right bundle branch pattern present or a left bundle branch pattern present in those, uh, in those chest leads. And then I look finally at R wave progression, I look at axis deviation, and those two things basically give me a really good idea about whether the ventricular depolarization vector is traveling roughly from right shoulder to left hip the way it should. So uh, that's my final step in my analysis of a 12 lead ECG. I hope that's been really helpful. I know there are four big steps there with uh, many smaller steps, but that's how I do it. Make sure you get those preliminary ones done to make sure it's a good quality and you know the origin of the actual complex before you go hunting for ischemia. They're my big tips, I hope it's been helpful. Find us on social media and we hope to see you next time it's been Paramedic Project.